Memphis was a healthy baby boy with his whole life ahead of him. Then came the heartbreaking diagnosis that would change his life forever. Memphis was born, he had 10 fingers, he had 10 toes. He was just a breath of fresh air. When Memphis was six months old, he got very sick. He had really rosy lips and his lips started turning blue and took him to the emergency room. 20 doctors jumped on top of him. This will after your son has bacterial meningitis. Your son has 12 hours to live. That's not possible. It's my son, that's not gonna happen to him. And literally, he just was puffed up like this balloon and his fingers and his toes was black with blisters. They put him in a coma immediately. He was on machines, every kind of life support machine that there was. He had two strokes in his brain stem, having his hands and feet amputated. They said even if he did live, his only survival would be minimal in the sense of he'd be sucked out of a straw. <sighs> After three and a half months of sleeping on the floor, you know, right next to his bed, he woke up out of his coma. I'll, I'll never forget it. He, he looked at me and he smiled. I just, I knew, I knew it was all gonna be okay. I knew it was all, I knew it was all good. After the surgeries, he healed so quickly. The next thing you know, he was crawling and, and playing, just being a baby. Today, Memphis is 12 years old. My favorite things to do are swim, play games, and ride my hoverboard. Let's go! There are certain daily situations that I have to be there. The bathroom, getting him dressed, fixing his hair. He needs prosthetics, because I know how much they're gonna help him in life. He outgrows them, and they're very expensive. A set of legs is $18,000. He's scared that he's not gonna be able to drive or have a job, having a purpose in his life. That scares me all the time. Memphis father Chris is joining us and Chris I don't need to talk to you to know how much you love your son <laughs> just looking at yeah, your right? face <laughs> uh, while we see Memphis up there it's just it's remarkable what has been the most challenging part of all of this I guess acceptance the process you know when someone tells you that your kid you know six months old you know has 12 hours to live just out of the blue you go insane Having the courage to fight through that and walk through that and you know, we all have doors to walk through all of us Big or small just but having the courage to walk through it and do that. That was very difficult and it was just worth it I mean, he's, he's just awesome I can only imagine that there must be some tough days. Like, what do you see him struggle with the most? He struggles with his prosthetics Okay, because it's heavy and it's hard and he's just he's a he's a kid. He just wants to be a kid that's been difficult because as a child, he grows. And meningitis, it's a bone disease as well. Mm -hmm. And so he killed all his adult teeth in his gums. So his adult teeth never grew. And so he has just fragments of teeth that are his kid's teeth. And so his teeth won't grow. And so he doesn't, he smiles, but it's not, you know, you can tell that that bothers him. And if I could just take one moment here to address bacterial meningitis because this attacks the meninges and that's the basically the outer casing that holds your brain it's it, it can attack it so quickly and become a system-wide infection antibiotics are life-saving but they need to be started so very quickly you saw your child deteriorating before your eyes yeah. Yeah, but you did the right thing you went to the hospital yeah. that's just fyi for parents out there you know you mentioned even the discoloration you mm -hmm. noticed the rash and the, yeah, the, the spots on his, on his stomach they're and like that, little, little and dots. that's why the 20 doctors you said jumped on it because mm -hmm. they saw those spots they saw uh, probably the lethargy mm -hmm. and and they said oh my gosh this is potentially bacterial meningitis and so we're just so glad that he got the antibiotics he needed. And yet, one of the things that was really cool was to watch Memphis getting around on his hoverboard and just you know, be a yeah, kid. No, it was, it, it's, definitely, it's definitely cool. Um, Memphis, he's got lots of friends, you know, and he has his independence. I mean, he gets home from school and he's out the door. You know, I had to buy him a phone. You know, he's over at girls' houses. <laughs> uh -oh. blessed because uh, I know Memphis has a lot of friends, but I also know he has a few hundred more, plus probably millions more watching at home. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, I know I'm ready to meet Memphis. You all too? Yeah. Come on out, Memphis. How are you? Yeah, he 
he's pretty good in those fields. Yeah, he is. Whoa. He's very good. Well, what, very what's good. your uh, what's pleasure. your favorite part of the hoverboard, Memphis? I like to stay in the house and be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting pretty good with that thing, huh? So did you did you happen to hear your dad talking about you? How proud he is of you and everything you've been through? Yeah. You know, I know that your dad, because you mentioned expenses can get can get pretty rough. Of course. I want to introduce you to someone joining us in the audience, <laughs> motivational speaker as well as 9-11 surviving firefighter Joe Trillo nice. with something that he would like to say. Joe, thanks for being yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you. Memphis, I traveled this country after surviving the collapse of the Twin Towers, going all over the United States, outside the country, inspiring people to get over their tragedies. But nobody's going to be able to do this better than you one day. And today, I want to make a personal donation of my own money to you for $5,000 to help you cover your medical bills. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And, and we talked about some of the issues um, with Memphis's teeth. Joining us via Skype is reconstructive and cosmetic dentist, Dr. Joe Willardson. Hey, Memphis, I'm Dr. Joe. You know, Hello. I gotta tell you, you and your dad as a team has just been a real inspiration to me. And when I saw your story, I thought, I gotta meet these brave guys. So as a special treat, from the doctor show and myself, we're gonna fly you out to Las Vegas to the True Dentistry Center here in Las Vegas. And we're going to help get you a new prosthetic to complete your smile. Oh, so we want to see you soon. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very well. That's awesome, right? Look, at that. He likes that. Thank you. Thank you. That. thank you. that is awesome. Uh, thank you very much. Dr. Wilson, we really appreciate it. Memphis, since we have you here, mm -hmm. you, you, you look like you're pretty good on those wheels. There's someone else who's pretty good on wheels oh, and uh, has a message for you. Check it out back up there, Memphis. Hey, Memphis, what's up? It's Tony Hawk. I just wanted to say I heard about your story, and I think it's awesome that you're into skating and that you build your own mini skateboards. And uh, I want to offer you one of my personal skateboards, and I'll sign it for you and send it to you. I'm sorry I can't meet you in person today, but uh, keep up the good work, man. You are an inspiration. And Memphis, what do you tell people? I love, I love this story. When someone is looking at you and they notice that you don't have your legs or your arms and you notice that they're looking at you, what do you go up to them and say? Hello, and I say don't give up and try your best and complete your goals and anything's possible. And... Speaking of anything possible, I, I know that you love the hoverboard, but we have another surprise for you, Memphis. Stop it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really. Hi, Memphis. How are you? My name is Eric Schaefer. I'm the owner of A Step Ahead Prosthetics. When the doctor show reached out to me and portrayed your story, I knew this is something that we had to do. Chris, Dad, I want to bring both of you guys to my New York facility to work with your son, and I want to build him bionics. I want to build him hands that with individual movements so that he has that finite movement and we are going to build him prosthetics. We're going to build him legs. We are going to get him up and going. Chris, Memphis, building your prosthetics is going to be my gift to you guys. There will be no charge at all. I can't wait to see you here in New York to live your life without limitations. Incidentally, oh, dude. the two right. of you are going to have to to go to New York to yeah. be fitted for your new prosthetics. So the Viana Hotel and Spa they're going to provide you with a hotel stay, and JetBlue is going to provide you with your now, now you're just showing off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, oh. you know, li life took a lot from from the two of you when Memphis. You were just a little baby, but now it's time for life to give you some stuff back. Yeah. Right? Thanks for being the super dad that you are. You know what? And the power of love. Thanks, brother. It's an honor. Boom, right? It's an honor to be his father, truly. It, I, I'm truly blessed to be his father. To, to just be in their everyday life and see, you know, 
how he inspires people just walking down the street. Thank you, Sam. Don't promise us you're coming back, right? What? Yeah, he, he loves this town. He, uh, he loves this right. town. Yeah, you need to stop it now because you're getting me crying. Right, dude. <laughs> well, Can't do it's, that. It's been an honor to share the stage. Thank with you, you so much.